That's home, dude. We are almost home. It's busting right up. It can't handle the pressure. We are ice locked. Can't go anywhere in my jet boat, and I don't know what to do. try to see if we can get all this downstream we probably just busted up what 300 yards of ice i mean there's probably a good inch inch and a half of ice i mean it's nothing insane just barely doable we bust this up the river will kick her out like it's already done all downstream and we might might be in business here so looks kind of <laughs> looks a little crazy this will get that ice all lifted up and busting on its own without touching it oh my god We can get it through right here. But we are good. I, I think this is the, the last chunk. Oh my gosh. That's home. Gosh, dude, it's busting right up. It can't handle the pressure. It can't handle the, it can't handle the stealth craft. <laughs> cleared almost a half mile river like for real though <laughs> one last ram this might do it yeah we're stuck dude we're not getting out of this hey how's it going kind of in a tough predicament right now we're ice locked can't go anywhere in my jet boat and i don't know what to do i put in right there yeah, right there at the launch uh, with the fish cleaning station. We got open water 50 yards from us, but I can't get to it. So if somebody could throw us a line or something like that, I've tried to call some people I know, and there's just no boats out. Right. Um, call back number three. Uh, Roger. Yeah, like we're going to make it out, but we are absolutely stuck in a floating pile of ice and we have about an hour and a half of daylight left and we are trying to figure out how to get out of here without calling the Coast Guard. And uh, this is definitely not ideal. I don't know if I regret our decision to come up here, but it's more so like ramming it. Yep. Dude, it's just layers and layers and layers of ice under there. Yeah, the thing we were telling the cop, he pulled up when you guys are gone, is maybe if we hook this rope up to the front of his vehicle, he could pull us. We have a tow strap hooked up to the front of our boat, and we are hoping that this is going to pull us out. We got a good feeling we got the boat turned sideways at least a little. Well, here it goes. There's the tension. It ain't going to come ripping in our face, right? I don't think so. I don't think so either. Back it up as fast as you can. Yeah. We keep rocking it, we're gonna bust this ice. Yeah, it's gonna work. We're not gonna nose if we don't bust this out, dude. Yeah, we should probably bust, oh yeah. Yeah, we should probably bust this shit out. You guys keep going. Yup. Yeah, hold up, let us keep busting the ice because every time we bust ice, it's working. Yeah, we're moving. We are for sure moving. Here, get this shit out, because you get it's gonna create a drag in the back of the boat. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna keep cracking this ice. Yeah, we're well, getting rope on us for yep. sure. Oh, we're moving. We're moving. Dude, look how much ice was packed under your boat. Oh my yeah, we're going. We are getting 
well too. Okay, it's good by tomorrow. This might be it. We got it, we have to. Come on. Yup, yup. I think we got it. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we got it. We have to. We're right there. Holy crap. Yup. We're good. We got it. Yeah, we're free. My God. <laughs> we were stranded on this ice for probably over three hours. That, that went south in 0.5 seconds. We, we went from, ha ha, we're busting this out, no problem, to I hope somebody will answer their phone yeah. real quick. She's gonna be surfing. That's a beaut right there, man. Throw me, baby. Oh. <laughs> Little shardy in the Schnozzolino right there, man. Nice. Rewarded very quickly. It's a nice, beautiful fish, man. Little stalker. Slimed and gooped up. Let's go live another day, man. Be a hot fish. Gave a great fight. I'm out here solo. You guys are gonna see some footage with my buddy Dom that was in the video earlier. Went the extra mile a little bit to try to make this happen. I do apologize for um, the lack of uploads. I'm just going through a weird phase in life, man. I'm 26 years old. I've been self-employed for the last five years doing what I love. I love creating content. I make videos for a living. And streaming on Twitch, obviously, is that's kind of my, uh, that's been my main source of income, playing Call of Duty. It was a childhood hobby I had for about 10 years. Senior year of college, it kind of took off a little bit for me to the point where I was able to pay my bills and stack a little bread. And I was doing pretty well for myself. And um, I don't know. I don't know if it's either I'm phasing out of the game and I'm, I'm constantly comparing and contrasting, going fishing and playing video games, and I'm just deciding I love fishing more or the video games are just getting old and boring. I mean, the developers that are making a lot of the games I used to play, Call of Duty. Multiplayer, if you guys know anything about that, kind of going down the gutter, and I'm in this weird situation where I'm sacrificing a lot of the time that I streamed just digging out of my savings every month to break even and get by, and I'm sacrificing the opportunity to make money playing video games to pursue a dream and content creation with fishing and YouTube videos. I'm not out here trying to be the best steelhead guy ever, I started my guide service because so many of you guys were asking me and it's just a productive way for me to stay on the water. But it's been tough, man. I'll be honest. And the whole reason I even went on this trip in the first place is because I just need to check out. I need a break. I need to go somewhere far and just get away. There's nothing special about where I chose to go. I just want to go, hit the road, and see where I end up. So finding peace with myself, catching some steelhead out here on a brisk winter day. Things have been weird. I think I'm going to be taking a step of faith and uh, really just pursuing the content creation with fishing and guiding. I'll still be streaming video games. I gotta follow my heart. It's the bottom of the ninth for me, man. I can't keep doing this forever. I can't just keep sitting here going on these fishing trips, not making any money for myself and not having a living. I got dreams I wanna 
achieve. I want family one day. I want to have a house. I want to, I want everything you guys want. And hopefully I can lead by example and show you guys that it is possible doing what you love for a living. I'm out here to have fun and share my passion with you guys and I feel like it's just one of the main sources of my creativity. If you guys do watch these videos, especially if you sat through this whole long rant, I really appreciate it. Seriously, like this is my this is all I got. So I uh, I don't really know what else to say. I just one took that real quick. Let's go catch some steelhead. Drop with force. I will say though, depending on how this goes, we might want to finish out on the hole. Oh, really? No. Let me hit that drift real quick. You didn't see that? No. I saw my tank. Wham! Really? Watch this, dude. It's crazy. Really? Ah! Oh, it got me. I freaking turned my head so fast. I'm gonna show you what it actually looks like. That's the difference. You ready? Oh, I'll I'll just show you what a fish looks like. Just give me a minute. Hold up. This is a nice fish, bud. Really? It's all wrapped up. Oh, this is legit. It's a male. It's a male. He's not wrapped anymore. Damn, son! Woo! <laughs> Bruiser. That is a boy right there, dude. I'm sorry for telling you a female. Yeah. So that is how you catch a fish, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Got all the bags. I should tackle you. <laughs> I should take you out. Ooh. Charter. Hey, dude. No shaking baby syndrome here. What, bro? Freaking majestic. Nice steel right there. Having a good day out here with my buddy Dom. Good vibes. Got lucky on a couple nice fish right here. And I'm sure he's gonna kick off well. He's like, get me out. I bet you if we work that down down spot down there, we'll get one again. Let it reset. Let them get squirrely. Oh, that's a fish. Going in for the double. Going in for the double. He said, I don't like you. Bam. Unwrap finally, yeah. Oh, it's a brown. Is it? Dude, it might be a brown. Switch. It's a brown, dude. Let's go. Came here for a nice steelhead and got blessed with a beautiful brown trout. Nice ball. The chartreuse, man. Charty baby. Charty. Nice freaking buck, man. Beautiful, solid fish. Cannot complain with that whatsoever. Oops, hold on, buddy. What? Oh, it's okay. What? <laughs> what? 
I don't know, the screen went blank for a second. Oh no. <laughs> What's your guys' opinions on these? So I have these fish monkey gloves. They're leather gloves on the palms. Like obviously you don't want to be grabbing these fish with wool, but just to be extra cautious, I'm going to uh, I'm going to take them off. But do you think that these fish monkey gloves are fine with the leather palm? As far as like removing that slime coat, I've been wondering that, but I know that these latex gloves are harmless. Check this guy out though. It's stud. Stud stalker male right here, man. Beautiful colors. It's hard to beat December colors like that, man. I love it. That fish gave a pretty solid fight. Hooked him freaking, hooked him a while out. Man. Big peck on him. Look at that. Love that fit. Oh, it's beautiful. There he goes. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, please be sure to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe if you would like to help further support the channel. Over 75% of the people who watch my videos are not subscribed. So if you notice you keep coming back, drop that sub. Be sure to hit the bell notification. I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas. I'll see you in the next one.